Well, I thought I could just pop this mirror off, but I was wrong. In order to get the mirror off, you gotta take the speaker out, unplug it from back there. But in order to get my speaker out, I have to take my door panel off. So that's where we're at now. I was wondering why my speaker wasn't always working and it's because these were loose as hell. So I'm gonna recrimp these. Hopefully that fixes that. But now I can get to the friggin' mirror so I can get the mirror off, get a good look at it because I broke it also. I was just trying to get the mirror back on and deal with it another day, but I can't get it open to get the bolts back in. But I think I can get it now. So it's this plug right here. Separate that. Anyways, pulled the mirror off, and then, like an idiot, I snapped it back to where I covered up the bolt hole so I can't just put it back on. But I wanted to look at it and see how broken it was. So I walked past it and bumped the cover, and then that broke something on the inside, so it's not supposed to do that. I'm breaking it, trying to get it back open, so I gotta figure out a way to do that later. Yeah, I can just hear it cracking. It's not supposed to do that either. I think I found a problem. This guy's missing the back to it. So I think I can fix that while I have it all apart. So I got the window, the speaker, and the mirror to fix. And then I want to work on work on relocating my window switches. But I want to delete my center console because it's a little broken, or I might try and fix it. I don't know yet. But I would at the very least like to relocate these. So it turns out I have the perfect piece to fix the window. This is actually, I think, off my old NA Miata. This mod didn't change much between the years. I can pull this back off, thread that onto the screw here. Boom, just like that, fixed. So hopefully that'll help get the window to come up and down better. Let's see. better. It might be kind of hard to see, but I crack the sh out of this, getting it split so I can get the bolt holes lined back up and get the mirror back on. That's such a pain. Don't ever close these if they're separated from the car. I'm just hoping this doesn't break off. But there's a crack going along here. It's cracked along here. It's pretty cracked. So now that I got the door taken care of, got the window fixed, fixed the speaker, fixed the window, got the door pole put back on. 
what I want to do is relocate my window switches. That's my original plan today. It's my center console's a little beat up and I wanted to delete it and just kind of make it feel a little more open in here. But I was looking around and realized that this gap here for this, there we go. Uh, cubby for the stereo, new dash. It's about the same size as this window switch. I'm not going to try to mod this at all or cut it up or try and fit it in here. What I'm going to do is 3D model it and print it out. So there should be just enough room for a frame to fit in here. Modeled off this. And then this can snap in if I take the same shape, the same cutout from the center console. So that's the plan anyway. But I think it looks super clean up here. Or maybe offset, I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I want to center it or offset it, but centering is probably the easiest for now for version one. But it'd be super easy to rerun the wire, get that up here, and have a nice clean install. And then delete the center console. It's not going to get in the way of shifting. This is a pretty easy, simple shape. I think I can replicate this. All right, so you can imagine if that's the dash on the car, this fits just inside that, and then it pops in. So I found a good spot for the printer on this shelf here. That way I can run it over to this mini PC that's running OctoPrint and connect it to my TV. I can set all set up the printer and uh, be able to model on this computer and then print on this computer. And then I have this sort of enclosure set up with just uh, a trash bag and I had an extra bit of plexiglass that I cut down and quickly zip tied to the shelf here. And so this side already just has a bit of pegboard on it so it kind of helps to enclose it and get rid of the, the drafts so the heated bed can stay warm and my prints don't lift. And I can peel this back and get a good peek at what's going on. We were so close. Oh my gosh. It's the best fit so far. Man. If you pop that out and put it in. It's so, it seems so obvious now. If I extend these past this. That, that feels so solid. I discovered my switch is actually broken, but wow. Oh wow, we're so close. This, this feels really good. 
uh, we're losing daylight, so I'll have to work on it a bit more tomorrow. Of course, that goes right back in there. That pops on. It's dry fitting. So here, dry fitting, making sure everything's looking good, feeling good. Yeah, I'm gonna change up the bottom here with it and adjust the top, and I think we're good. This fits really, really nice. I can see I've printed a couple iterations here. Starting off with just getting the printer calibrated. Good old cal calibration blocks, and then modeled after this original tray. I've had this, I think this was in the car when I bought it, I don't remember. Uh, then I just modeled up half of what I thought I would need, and getting the printer dialed in, getting the basic shape down, uh, filled, doing half of it, because this side profile was really complicated, and I only wanted to you know, do it once and then mirror it. All right, so two halves make a hole. And so then just refining the basic shape and how it clips in and fits together all just off of this guy and a set of calipers and some eyeball. And so far we're getting there, it's getting really close. I just gotta adjust a couple things. Alright, so I have a bit of news. We decided to put our house on the market and try and buy a farm. So that means I have to hit the brakes on all my projects and start packing this place up. Um, put the hardtop back on the Miata just took it off, but we need to get that out of here so I can have space to you know, move around and clean up and then stack boxes once we start packing up the house. The house will go on the market next week and hopefully we can get this farm. taking the Miata on a two hour, well, four hour round trip drive to go check out some property. Got most of the garage packed up now and got a bunch of stuff out of the house, stacked up in here so projects are on hold. But hoping this next place is rad, so. But we decided we needed a little more space so we're gonna go check out a 10 acre piece of property.